what is Fooly Cooly? At a distance, it's rock and roll and sex and fighting robots, evil corporations and space pirates, everything we love about anime. But it's not really any of those things. Fooly Cooly has a lot on its mind, but at its heart, it's a story about a young boy learning about maturity and the increasingly complex emotions and responsibilities that it comes with. Fully Cooly, stylized FLCL, was created in the year 2000 by director Kazuya Suramaki and screenwriter Yoji Inokido, in collaboration with Studio Gainax and Production IG. And it was created as a stylistic experiment of sorts, an attempt to break the conventional structure of anime at the time. Japanese animation is an industry built on perpetual serialization, some shows running for a decade or longer. And that can sometimes result in an end product that's bloated or overbaked. But Fully Cooly was designed to feel almost like a music video or a Japanese commercial from the late 90s. Short and accessible, but densely packed with character. It's satirical and chaotic and heavily, heavily stylized, but it's all contained within six half-hour installments. It never gets lost in its own absurdity. There's always an emotional through line that keeps the narrative on track. It's focused on exploring the anxieties and sexual confusion and frustrations a young boy has when experiencing puberty. The phallic imagery and violence and sexuality isn't just there for titillation. It's used as a lens to shape a bigger picture around growing up. It's less a show containing sex and violence and more a show about those sexual and violent urges. And we're anchored in the perspective of Nauta Nandaba, a 12-year-old boy who's caught in a messy relationship involving a rogue alien police officer, Haru Haru Haruko, and his older brother's ex-girlfriend, Samajima Mamimi, as well as a classmate, his jealous father, and a seven-foot robot that emerged from a portal in his head that appeared after being hit in the skull with a bass guitar by an alien whose goal is to free a space pirate from an evil corporation who intends on smoothing the wrinkles of the planet with a giant clothing iron. But like I said, it's not about any of that. It's about adulthood, and how that means absolutely nothing. All the adults in Nauta's life are childish and incompetent. A stupid adult who doesn't know how to grow up. And they each represent a different aspect of his immaturity. Insecurity, abandonment issues, Haruko even calling herself an illusion of his youth, a manifestation of the feelings in his adolescent heart. Where'd you get that line from? Anime? Nauta has this idealized vision of adulthood that he conducts himself by. Stoic, removed, uncaring. He's always focused on appearing cool. Like this scene from episode 5. Nauta's classmates are chatting about the rumors that he saved the city. And he lets that admiration go to his head, feeding his ego. He's convinced everyone that he's the pilot of this robot Conti, when in reality, he's just the bullet. He doesn't really understand maturity, and he's too afraid to take a chance at expressing himself emotionally, which is what keeps him from maturing. Nothing can happen till you swing the bat. <clears throat> he's a kid that's constantly trying to shove his problems back into his head rather than confronting them. Guess I just need to hold it. And those themes are represented in the show through different flavors. You're just being a kid. It's an adult taste. He isn't fond of exploring anything new like the spicy curry or sour drinks. You know I don't like sour drinks. Preferring to stick with the sweetness and familiarity of his childhood, which contradicts that false identity that he constructed for himself. What we see is growth as he learns to understand his youth, realizing that age and wisdom aren't always synonymous. Fully Cooly isn't about manhood. It's not a coming-of-age story. It's a story about embracing individuality and having the strength to stay true to yourself amidst the insanity of a world where no one knows what the hell's going on. Fully Cooly was a show that I never understood when I was younger, but I felt like it was one of the few things that understood me and what I was going through in that period of my life. It perfectly articulated that sense of discomfort and confusion that's unique to puberty. And that's what made it so accessible both in and outside of Japanese audiences. So if Fully Cooly seems to you like an incoherent mess, just remember how you saw the world when you were 12.